Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. So let's do a garden update. What we have is our asparagus. Uh, since the deer haven't been able to get to it, I think next year will be a bountiful harvest. It's looking really good. Especially at this end. Starberries, uh, cut all the flowers off them. So that next year we'll actually get a really nice harvest of strawberries. When we got here, everything was really dry. And uh, we had two issues. That spout right there broke off. And water was shooting out when I turned it on. But the main problem was the batteries died on the timer. So... The water hadn't turned on for a week. So we've set a new schedule. We're going to change the batteries every other time we come out here. This, I believe, is the striped squash. And I'm sorry if this video is bouncy. This is uneven ground and it's hard to film and make it smooth. And right in here, I think I saw one. Somewhere. There we go. Right over there. On that flower. They're just starting. Now these are looking really good. And as you see I have diatomaceous earth over at the roots. Heavy. And some on the leaves. The reason I've done that is just like my squash at the house. Down here if you notice these aren't really green. Well their stalks are completely white. Which tells me the worms are in them. I thought about pulling them up, but I think I'd rather kill the worms. Let them eat to their heart's content and then die. <laughs> Whereas those back there are really dark green. So I think from this point forward, they're dead. And from this point backward, I think they're going to survive. Potatoes. Lesson learned on potatoes. Once the plants start to die, dig them up. I came out here and dug up the ones that uh, didn't make it. I wasn't able to bring back to life, and uh, they were all rotted. I lost about two dozen potatoes. But I've only got six plants left. Seven plants left. And in the spaces, I have planted carrots. Now, the way I did my carrots, because I want to try something new, is I sprinkled the seeds on the surface of the ground and then lightly covered with hay. So hopefully, we'll see. I also piled the hay up around the potatoes, because the potatoes grow really pretty inside the hay. So we'll see how that goes. I found me some stevia. So I planted stevia in uh, three different locations in the garden to see what it likes best. A lot of water, a little water, a lot of sun, a little sun. And these tomatoes have just started flowering. These are the ones I bought at the store. It's really surprising because they were beautiful when I bought them. So I figured they'd take off quickly. But they haven't. I mean, they're big in foliage, but no tomatoes on them. These are my spaghetti squash. Some of them are doing really good, and some are just now starting. And I believe it was this plant, yeah. There's a nice big spaghetti squash down there. And these plants don't look near as healthy as those. But these have bigger fruits on them. Of course, hit them all with diatomaceous earth. All the stems look fine. Whoops, I missed one here. Got to get some diatomaceous earth on that one and on this one. And then the tomatoes. We're not going to be back out here for three weeks because we're going to that uh, Prepper Expo in Houston. So, anything that's close to red, I'm going to pick off. And I'm going to leave some of these on and just remember which ones they are to see how long it takes them to get red. But that one's coming home with me. They seem to be doing pretty good. If you've noticed, all the stalks are leaning. So, what we're hoping happens by not staking them, and it looks like it's, it's working, is the plants will start leaning over to the side and then you'll see foliage 
build up over the tomatoes to shade them from the heat. And it, it seems to be working pretty good. As you see, the foliage is real heavy on top. And the tomatoes are weighted down, have weighted down the plant. So, some of these are still standing up straight because there are no tomatoes on them. They're just starting. And uh, I have a funny feeling that this is my missing cherry tomato plant that I bought. Now, the birds will probably enjoy most of those. I don't think we'll get much out of that. Peppers. Not much difference in the size of the plant. Looks like I lost one. I'm going to try to bring it back. And I've got... Uh, yeah, see, here's the one I lost. We're trying. See if it can come back. The stock isn't dead. They're limp, so I'm hoping I can get it back. But this one is not even close to being ready. But I'm afraid in three weeks it won't be good. So I'm going to go ahead and pluck it off. Let the plant put the energy elsewhere. I can see I've got another one there. And I think this is part of the grasshoppers doing this. I'll pull that off too. Because it's already damaged more down there. So they're doing really good. Here's another spot I planted stevia so I could see how it did. This is hot and dry. And here is my tobacco. Doing good. I'm screwed up here and there's actually two plants there. And it's too late to move one, so let's hope they do. Probably one will choke out the other. And then my last three stevia I planted here in the very wet area. Come up here to the end and give you an overall shot of the garden. Now we've done some bobcatting. We got the orchard ready. We've dug uh, 17 holes, 16 holes, I guess. 16. Plums, pears, apples, peaches, pomegranate, lemon, uh, fig, loquat. Uh, next year we'll probably do the pecan trees because we're going to focus on putting a fence in the back. But I think I might extend the garden out here. This soil looks really good. And uh, put a berm up down that way to kind of stop the water, try to trap it. And another one here. As you saw yesterday, got holes drilled. Now, they gave us a rock drill when we asked for the dirt drill. But it still dug the holes. It just didn't take the dirt out. So we will have to shovel them. Um, but it came in handy because as we go further up, and he's still moving dirt, but uh, as we go further up, you'll see it turns into rot. So I'm going to have them staggered back here. And uh, we'll have the fence up. Uh, unfortunately, it runs right along the creek bed. And so we'll have trees here, all in this area. And we'll put a fence up. So here, as you see, now we start getting into the really rocky stuff. And that one's pretty sandy still. Lovely ground, isn't it? This is what we started with. So there we go. And this will all be fenced in with electric wire around it. We'll put the fence in probably July and August. And then the trees will go in September, October, whenever it's safe to plant them. And there's the shed with the solar attic fan. I'm really pleased with the garden. I know there's a lot of mistakes in it, and that's okay. Last year, I got nothing from the garden. 
Absolutely nothing. This year, I got something. Not a whole lot yet. But it looks like it may do okay. You know, every year you do this, you learn something new. You work out the kinks. You figure out what you did wrong, what you did right. And unless you start now, you're going to be behind the curve if you were in desperate need of living off of your land. It's one of the reasons why we're working so hard to put the orchard in. Because we won't see a harvest for two or three years. And so the sooner we get them in, the sooner we'll see a harvest. I don't know if uh, something's going to happen before we get to that point, but we're hoping it doesn't. And that's all we can do is take a step every day and work towards it. So hopefully the next time you see the garden, it'll be about three weeks from now. And uh, we'll have some really exciting news. Hopefully everything will go great and we'll have some stuff to harvest. Blessings. Getting ready to burn. Fires are being lit. One pile. And there we go. Full force. Sitting here with my trusty hose. Waiting to see if we have any sparks fly off. Two piles down. One, two. Progress. Third pile. Biggest one. Probably about 25 feet away. As long as the wind doesn't change. I can move fast. And now we have orchard going in. garden, the orchard, just a beautiful view.
blessings.